good everyone i hope you guys have an amazing day so i will briefly discuss today about the sales ai that's the sales artificial intelligence from salesforce so obviously you know you might have heard about einstein for service now we have for sales now uh, obviously salesforce is pushing a lot of their gen ai uh, stuff in different uh, clouds for instance the sales cloud the service cloud um, now they have agent force and they are pushing too much their data cloud technology right because this is the kool-aid uh, they wanted to sell and people are buying it which is interesting at the same time um, which is a part of human psychology right whatever new they wanted to be part of it because of the fear of missing out it's just just the human nature, that just the inherent characteristics of being a human. Right, okay. So, but at the same time, right, uh, the sales AI is a very powerful um, technology. It will help sales team to drive a better outcome and it will automate a lot of things. It will help with better forecasting, better prediction, uh, it will help the sales team to close the deal much faster. It will help um, salesperson to um, to uh, write a targeted email with the help of AI, and it will give. It will also help a salesperson to give a better customer service to um, uh, to a customer. Right now. When you talk about sales AI, right, there are a lot of things that goes under the hood. Uh, you got Copilot, you got, you know, like I said, the generative email uh, capability. Uh, then you have a call summary. You have, um, you know, uh, code seller kind of stuff, right, which gives you an instant feedback uh, through simul uh, simulation and coaching programs. Then it also helps the user uh, understand uh, the need better because the sales agent will have uh, better information uh, with respect to what the customer is after, right? So it kind of helps build a better relationship at the same time, right? So what does makes the sales AI unique? Um, Obviously, you know, I discussed about the Einstein trust layer in the previous episode. So you have a trust, which is a zero retention. Obviously, your uh, your information will not be retained uh, to train any models, right? Um, so also the data is coming from your own and you know, a CRM data, then it's quite secure because we discussed the concept of data masking, right? Um, and toxicity, uh, at the same time and then we also discussed that you can bring your own model or connect to let's say open ai or use existing model there are a lot of flexibility right um so um obviously i understand this is a theory session right but that being said uh, i just wanted to go a little bit further because this is a blog about the sales ai i will put the link in the description below and go through it so the 10 ai uh, sales tools to polish to your sales process. So obviously, like I said, right, Salesforce uh, is uh, investing heavily on an AI side of space because obviously Salesforce don't want to miss out. Like, you know, Microsoft is doing their own stuff. Google is investing heavily on their stuff. Meta is doing their own stuff, right? Amazon is doing their own stuff, right? So in in this context, right, you can use the AI power chatbots to manage and prospects customer twenty four hour seven. So obviously, you know the chatbot is is one of the thing even before sales AI, right? There's a concept of Einstein chatbot, right, which you can leverage to, you know, give that um, out of box solutions to customers so they don't have to wait you know an hour in a queue to get hold of an agent unless it's a very complex requirement, right? So. And now also, you know, you, the, the sales AI has a capability to identify the customer, you know, pain points and identify the areas it can improve and offers an opportunity to improve the process so that, you know, the customer gets a better experience when they wanted to interact with you, with your business, right? Um, 
And the recommendation I, I briefly talked about, right? You can get a better product recommendation. Let's say if uh, I'm here to buy, let's say a laptop, right? So obviously um, you might, the, the product recommendation could be, hey, do you want a mouse, right? Or do you want a, um, you know, monitor to, you know, hook up to make it as a desktop or something like that, right? Or do you want a, if, if you have a touchscreen laptop, you can say, do you want a, uh, you know, touchscreen pen to draw and kind of things, right? So I'm just, you know, giving you a simple uh, recommendation kind of stuff, right? So uh, something on that line, right? And let's say if you are, um, um, if you are building your own desktop, right, you wanted to buy a monitor, you wanted to buy, a, let's say, a keyboard. So the recommendation would be, do you want an extra webcam or do you want a, a mouse? Do you want a, you know, table stand, a kind of stuff, right? If you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so um, it also, you know, some of the repetitive data entry tasks it can automate, which is very handy, right? Because like, for instance, if I take my example, right, I don't like to do the repetitive task. It gets very boring, um, you know? And so if, if something, if I could automate the process, I would do that, right? You know, because I've been a, for instance, you know, I've been a programmer for most of my life, right? I started coding when I was 10, even when I was a kid, right? I started to, you know, I write code to help me, you know, automate some things, right? Even though it was not to, at that scale, but like you started with the basic and then I moved to C++. So I could do things to automate it, right? So similar way, um, AI can do that for you, right? It could help with the lead generation, improve the customer service, sales forecasting. Forecasting is one of the, you know, uh, important aspects. Um, so yeah, a lot of things you can do, right? With the sales AI, right? It's one of the great feature I would say that if your if your business is heavily involved um, in um, sales, right? Then I think, and if you're using Salesforce, right, this is something I would highly encourage you to consider. Like at least give an opportunity, give a try, uh, because to see if you're getting a high return of investment. If you're not generating it, then that's something you need to look at it, right? But if you, let's say, if you're making 100k uh, a month. If you're using AI, if you could turn that into, let's say, 150K, that's a pretty good opportunity, right? So something about that, right? Um, so at the same goes with the service, right? Uh, which we're going to look into the um, the later step, right? Um, now, it's also talked about six uh, sales strategy for creating a strong AI-driven approach. Uh, so prioritize your customer experience. Uh, use data to drive <clears throat> a decision. Uh, implement AI gradually, educate your sales team, uh, monitor and evaluate your result, and collaborate with the expert, right? So these are the, the few things which I'm pretty sure you might obviously know uh, about it, but um, uh, yeah, something to consider, right? <clears throat> so this is something I wanted to cover, right? Obviously, uh, like I said, right, one of one of the one person asked me, one YouTuber asked me, that do I need to have hands on? I mean, you don't really need to have hands on for this, sir, right? But obviously, I have done some um, hands on with the Copilot. I would highly encourage you to check that out. Like Prompt Builder, obviously, I expect you to know, um, and I also expect you to know. Uh, how to create a co-pilot action, right? Those kind of things are important, so which I've already discussed in the past, right, in one of the videos. So you can check my playlist to get more information. So for today, this is all I wanted to cover. Hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Adios.